Ryan, thank you. Hopefully they find relief soon. Well, September is National Suicide Awareness Month. It's a difficult thing to talk about, but a very important issue to discuss. KMAX Katie Gray caught up with one mother who knows the pain of losing her young daughter to suicide. Lauren, Yvette Hernandez lost her daughter Jacqueline three years ago and has dedicated her life to keeping her memory alive. She's created a group called Jack's Place, a safe place for other teens who might be struggling. Don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to ask if they're okay because you never know exactly what's going on because I sure didn't. Yvette Hernandez, a mother of three, shares her pain after losing Jacqueline only a few weeks shy of her 18th birthday. Hernandez says that she was a sweet girl whom she never thought was at risk of taking her own life. And I wish I could, <laughs> I wish I could go back to that day and, and just ask her if she was okay, if, if she needed a hug or if she needed to talk about something. And that's, that's the only thing that I, I can tell parents is just don't be afraid to ask them. Hernandez is not alone. She is one of many people who have lost someone close to them to suicide. Texas Tech's Director of Child Psychiatry Services, Sarah Wakefield, says that this is a growing concern in our youth. And increasing across our population, across the ages, for all age ranges, um, for the last several decades. Um, but especially, we have a crisis around um, 10 to 34 year olds. But Wakefield says that there are many resources available to help. And safety plans are very, very helpful. It's one of the most evidence-based strategies to remember all the things your thinking brain would have told you. Like, what are your reasons to live? What are your coping mechanisms? Who can you call right now when you feel like this? For help, you can call a crisis helpline at one 800 687-7581. In loving memory for Jacqueline, Hernandez is hosting a National Suicide Awareness Concert tomorrow night from 5 to 10 at Across the Way Baptist Church for those who'd like to attend.